spoken with me. Jehovah, the Lord of all hosts, the Lord of lords, and the King of all kings, Jehovah Yahweh, Jehovah Elohim, the Lord God, Adonai, he has spoken with me um, this past night, and there's several conversations all the way up to a few hours ago, here about two hours ago. But uh, I see the U.S. flag. I see the U.S. flag, and um, I see it has been shredded into small, small, small strips. It was quite destroyed. The Lord showed me someone lifting. Someone was lifting a U.S. flag, but it was shredded, shredded into small, small, small strips, small, small pieces. And someone was trying to wave it, but I see the U.S. flag shredded in small, small, small pieces. And then I was also walking by. I was going through some places. I was. Uh, the Lord took me some places where the conditions were not very good. After I had seen the U.S. flag. Then I saw now people, uh, the Lord met me on Sunday, and we were going to church. But things were not good. It was filthy. The, the, the church was very filthy. I see a lot of water, dirty water and all these things all over. But I see the U.S. flag shredded, shredded in very small, small pieces. I mean, the strips and, uh, and dirty and shredded. And then the Lord takes me now to people after seeing, showed me that flag. It shows me people going to church. And one of the pastors says, thank you for giving me these scriptures. I'm going to read them in church. But uh, there was a lot of water. I see a lot of dirty water in the churches. The conditions were not very good. Dirty, filthy waters were not, very, very filthy. Very filthy waters. It was very bad. Very, very bad. So I was trying to see if I could walk there. It was bad. Yes, I see this, and I could see that people are from church. I knew it was a Sunday, but this was the condition of uh, the church, the, the places they were worshipping from. So th this is what the Lord has shown me this night and spoken with me about. And so there is need for the United States of America to repent. There is a need for the entire church in the USA to repent, to stop this game they are playing. They are pretending that they are not aware that the Lord has sent a messenger to minister to them the instruction of heaven, the instruction of Jehovah Yahweh, the instruction of the owner of heaven, that they may change their ways and purify their worship and return to righteousness and holiness. So they are pretending, but all of them are aware now that the two messengers are now ministering unto the nations. They need to organize themselves very well and invite the two witnesses of the Lord that the nation of the United States of America may also start repenting and returning to righteousness and holiness and turning away from nudity, immoral dressing, anything immorality. The Bible speaks very clearly about this, that the sexually immoral, be it in dressing or what, will not enter the glorious kingdom of God. This grace they are abusing, they are teaching grace, grace, grace that does not see sin, grace that is immune to sin, that is not is numb to sin. It, 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 they are lying to this nation. You see it all over their churches, all over the Christian TV, you see the dressing, you see the messages they preach, the Lord, this first night, has spoken with me about the United States of America. He showed me the U.S. flag, and the U.S. flag was shredded. It was dirty and shredded. Then he made me know it was a Sunday, so he took me to the churches, and there was so much filth, water, a lot of filthy water. It was very difficult for me to walk across. They were dressed, you know, they were from church, but, you know, their usual dressing, the short miniskirts, the tight trousers of women, you know, showing their chests and so forth. And, and then the Lord showed me that in the house. The kind of worship, immoral, you know, dressing and dancing and worship. 
So, so the Lord is calling on to the nation of the United States of America to repent. Repent in Christ Jesus. Return to the Lord. The Lord, He is holy. And He's also calling upon the church in the United States of America to recognize the fact that the two witnesses are already ministering to the nations. They are now headed to Sweden. And if you will not obey, it will be tragedous. It will be tragedy. Nobody can ignore them. So the Lord is calling upon this generation to return to the cross and the blood of Jesus, to return to the works of the cross. He that was crucified is coming back. The Lamb of God, the glorious Lamb of God is holy, is coming back for a holy bride. May all the nations repent and return to Jesus and, and resolve to live holy, righteousness, and refuse to be lied to by these preachers of cheap grace in the U.S. and all over the world, the ones that can, they are, they are saying you can live your life as you wish for as long as there is grace. The Lord that has sent the two witnesses he that has sent the two angels unto you, he is holy and he has instructed holiness unto the church. And the Holy Spirit is available to help the church. Let nobody lie to you this late in the day. Make sure that your ways are holy. The Spirit of the Lord will always guide you unto what is holy, what is righteous, and what is not. Because the kingdom of glory is near. The kingdom of heaven is near. The kingdom of God is at hand, beloved people. Don't put your life into some deceivers, schemes, and notions. Make substantive decisions about your eternity. Because each one of you will stand on your own accord, alone, before the Lord. So you won't say, but my pastor, but in the United States, we are not taught that. You, you won't say that. That will not be an excuse. Let every Christian that cares about their eternity make decisive decisions now, resolute decisions, and be holy. Time is gone. Time is up. Time is finished. The church needs to prepare to be taken up because the next dispensation will be quite brutal. So prepare the way, beloved people. These are the dreadful, the shocking days, the dreadful days that the Bible spoke about. These are the tremendous days, beloved people, when the nations need to prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. These, these days are powerful days. They are days in which someone can decide and prepare and enter heaven. Whosoever cares to prepare would enter eternity. These are, these are powerful days. These are days when you can decide and enter into eternity. The book of Malachi chapter 3 says, See, I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come says the Lord Almighty. Again, I'm reading the first part of the scripture. See, I will send my messenger